Hi there, this is Kingsley. So in the previous video, I shared with you guys my experience of moving from an Android phone to an iPhone. And one of the biggest challenges I faced was moving my WhatsApp chats from my Android phone to my iPhone. And I was able to figure that out and I did it successfully. So in this video, I want to share that with you guys. And in case you're having the same problem or somebody else is having that kind of issue, you can share this video with the person and it's going to help the person out, all right? Now, in order for you to do this, you will need to download a piece of software called Backup Crans. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I was actually doing a lot of research on how to move my WhatsApp chats from my Android phone to my iPhone. Then I stumbled upon this uh, app called Backup Trans, and I used it amongst all others that I tried. It worked. A couple of things you need to note here is that the Backup Trans app is not free. It's paid. So you have to go to their website. I've forgotten what the amount was. I don't know what it is right now. So you have to head on to their website and um, check what the pricing is and see if you can afford it or if you are willing to buy it. But once you get the app and install it on your PC or on your Mac, because it works on both platforms, then we can proceed with this video. Again, before we proceed, you will need to go to the settings of your Android phone and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. It's usually under developer options. But where this particular option will be in your Android phone will depend on the kind of Android phone you use and the kind of Android skin that runs on it. So let's say you're using a Samsung phone, for instance, you will have to do a quick Google search and um, check on how to enable USB debugging for a Samsung phone because there are so many Android phones out there, I can't possibly cover how to do it on all of them. So a quick Google search will solve the problem because if you don't enable USB debugging first, every other steps that I'm gonna walk you through will not work. Also, make sure that your WhatsApp is still active on your Android phone. What I mean is you can still send or receive messages on your WhatsApp inside your Android phone. Now you connect your Android phone to your PC via USB cable and you will be asked to allow USB debugging. Check the always allow option and then click OK. Any permission it requests for you, just grant it. Then this screen will appear with a list of instructions. Now by this time, an app called AppClone has been installed into your Android phone. Open App Clone and click on Add. Select WhatsApp, click on Add option below again. Then activate the WhatsApp with your phone number as usual and it will detect your chat history and ask you to restore it. So do this and as soon as that is done, your WhatsApp database will appear on the left side of the backup trans software here. Then install WhatsApp on your iPhone and activate it. Make sure Find My iPhone has been disabled or is disabled on your iPhone before you proceed. Connect your iPhone to your PC and trust it, and also make sure that your screen remains unlocked. Your iPhone database, which is obviously empty, will also appear on the left side of the backup trans software here. On the backup trans software, right-click on your Android phone name on the left side here and select Transfer Messages from Android to iPhone. In case you have more than one iPhone connected, they will appear here, but in my case, it's just one iPhone, so I'll just confirm that. And just like that, your messages will start transferring, including your media files like pictures, videos, music, and everything that has ever been sent to you on WhatsApp will be transferred seamlessly into your iPhone. The question a lot of people will ask is, how long does it usually take? For me, it took about an hour, 20, 30 minutes or thereabout, because I have a lot on my, um, on my WhatsApp. For you, it could be less, depends on how large your database is. Another good thing about this app is that you can, you can choose to transfer specific chats. Maybe if you don't want to transfer everything, you can transfer specific chats. You don't have to transfer the whole WhatsApp database if you don't want to. So that was how I was able to move my um, WhatsApp chats from my Android phone into my iPhone. So you guys can try this out and uh, let me know how it goes for you. If you have any questions, you can actually leave them down in the comments, all right? Until the next time, my name is Kingsley. I'll catch you again.